Hey, this is Steve Domenico from Regional Fight Sports here with Ron Marshall, who's fighting Cage Titans, 43, fighting where you've been many times, buddy, Cage Titans. How's it feel to be back? Uh, it feels great. Uh, Mike approached me with this opportunity back in January. I was supposed to fight the same opponent on that card, but ended up breaking my ribs actually here at uh, Lausanne. Uh, doing some training, so uh, I'm just I'm happy to be back, better condition and better health, and uh, ready to go. Excellent. Well, you had your last fight as an amateur for Cage Titans. Yeah. Now you're back having your first fight as a pro for Cage Titans. Is there anything different in, uh, you know, in getting preparation to to step back there? Um, yeah, actually, there's a lot. There's a lot that's been going on different. I actually joined a CrossFit gym uh, about seven and a half weeks ago and been pushing myself harder than I ever have in my life and um, been getting been getting the training I need endurance wise to be able to stick there stick in there with anybody and a lot of times in my fights sometimes I've most of the times I've gone the distance but if I've been finished early by a submission um, or to TKO it's been because I've gassed out a little bit so I've really taken preparation to make sure that my wind is not going to be a problem so I'm ready to, to bring the energy is that part of the, the, the pro process is learning these little steps that can improve your game along the line? Yeah, just dieting better, eating healthy, meal prepping, um, doing, doing the things to improve. If I know the one thing that's stopping me is my endurance. If, if I can get in there and I can go without getting tired and I can really push myself and throughout my MMA practices I'm not getting tired as a result of this uh, cross training I'm doing through CrossFit. Um, I'm just a different type of animal right now. I'm ready to get in there and I'm ready to I'm ready to bring it. Excellent. Well, you had that first experience, you know, not too long ago in, you know, your first pro fight. Uh, what did that feel like compared to, you know, amateur fights, man, having that first pro fight? Uh, sort of brings back the butterflies again. Like when you first get in there, you know, uh, fighting on the big stage, fighting a familiar opponent. And... Um, I got to get paid, which was a plus. So uh, I've been doing it for a while, but um, now I just keep grinding, man. I keep grinding, I keep improving, uh, I keep working hard, and uh, it's all about the journey for me. So it might sound cliche, but it's not where you start, it's where you finish. So I've tested myself and um, keep coming forward, and I'm ready to make a run right now. Excellent. Well, you know, your last couple of fights, it seems like you've been. Uh, not, not the other opponent has been like the fan favorite, or you've been in their home, their home turf. Yeah. Is this? Are you the fan favorite coming into this, or are you still kind of the, the outcast coming in? I, I enjoy the outcast role. I think I'm always the outcast role for the most part, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of a fan favorite if I'm not fighting some guys at Cage Titans. For the most part, I, a lot of the people there cheer me on. They like the way I fight, and um, I always try to come out and put on a show. So. Uh, I don't know where Jesse, my opponent, is from. I know he trains at John Connor's MMA. I don't know where that's at, but I um, you know it's a reputable school and he's a good fighter, it's a good pro record. So um, I'm just ready to come in here and, and put on a show and, and the fans cheer me on. I'm ready, I'm ready to get that win. Uh, him coming from the Connor's, jiu-jitsu, a lot of jiu-jitsu. Yep. You, a lot of, in your game, your arsenal there. 205. There's not much, you know, grappling going on, but we got two guys here that are really great on the ground. Are you looking to, you know, do it all, or where do you think you can excel in this fight? Um, well, first, I know he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so I know where he's going to want to bring the fight, and so it's my job to implement my game plan. Um, I'm looking to strike. I'm looking to keep my distance, and but if it goes to the ground, I'm ready to go there. And um, whatever it takes to get this win, I'm just going to do whatever it takes. So um, I, I plan on knocking him out, though. Excellent. A couple weeks out, buddy. What's left to do? Uh, and, uh, you know, what are you looking to do? Right now, I'm just on my weight cut. Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm 215 right now. Like I said, I'm in the best shape. I only got 10 pounds to go. And right now, I'm just trying to do the things to become more technical, uh, work on these little little movements that I'm trying to implement and part of my game plan and just stay mentally strong and visualize, meditate and get ready to get this win. Excellent. Well, Ron, we're looking forward to it. You're always, you know, humble, very respectful. Yeah. Get in there, just do your job yeah. uh, and, you know, you do it. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing you back into that Cage Titans cage after being there so many times in the amateur. And getting that first win under your belt, man. Yes, uh, last thing, my friend, uh, you got tickets to sell, so social media, shout it out. 
Yeah, uh, Ron Marshall on Facebook. You can hit me up for tickets or at Ronnie MMA on Instagram. Um, just get at me. Uh, phone number 603-923-2024. Send me a text or call and I'll get at you when I can. But uh, looking forward for the support and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody at Cage Titan. Excellent. Well, from Lausanne's gym here at Media Day, Ron Marshall looking to step in that cage April 6th for Cage Titans once again and get that big, big professional win. All right. Thanks so much, man. Thanks, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, Thanks, bro. Steve.